I would say that the opening statements were certainly frigid and not necessarily due to the ambient temperatures in Alaska. Um, so far, frankly, there are, are no surprises uh, as far as I can tell, and I would expect none. Um, I think given the long list of Chinese malign activities within its own borders, along its periphery, as well as globally, it's uh, for me unimaginable that the Biden administration is going to look to reset, if you will, the relationship as the Chinese would like. So you're saying that you don't think a reset is possible. So what will the relationship look like? When you say no reset, does that mean status quo? Or could this even take a different direction? I think what's key about this meeting is, first of all, that it's taking place. Because even during the most tense um, relationships that uh, the United States has had in its history, for instance, with the Soviet Union, we would still meet and we would still exchange perspectives. So it's key that we do the same with uh, our strategic competitor, China, today. So the fact that early on in the Biden administration, there is such a senior leader exchange uh, is a positive sign. But the conversations are going to be very candid, I believe. And just as the United States has a long list of issues uh, that it needs to address with China, China has the same. So it's important for the senior leaders to be able to meet, discuss things candidly, and be able to demonstrate what each uh, national intent is.